So in this video, the roots of the equation 8z cubed take away 4z squared plus 1 equals 0 are alpha, beta, and gamma. Find a cubic equation with integer coefficients with roots alpha squared, beta squared, and gamma squared. OK, so first things first, we need to get the coefficient of z cubed to be 1. So divide through by 8 first. So we'll have z cubed take away 1 half z squared plus 1 eighth equals 0. So alpha plus beta plus gamma will be equal to the negative of minus a half, so plus one half. Then we've got alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma. And the coefficient of z is zero, so that's zero. And then we've got alpha beta gamma, which is going to be equal to negative one eighth. Okay? Right, so these are my three new roots. So the first thing that I need to work out is alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared. Okay, so how are we going to get that? Now, if you've seen the uh, quadratic one where I do something similar where the roots need to be alpha squared and beta squared, okay, I want to use a similar trick here because what I need to consider is a way of getting that squared from these terms. So if I squared the alpha plus beta plus gamma, okay, I'm going to get an alpha squared, a beta squared, and a gamma squared, but I'm going to get extra terms. So what will the extra terms be? Well, I'm going to get an extra alpha times beta, which I don't want. I'm going to get an extra alpha times gamma that I don't want. I'm also going to get an extra beta times alpha. So actually, there's two of those to get rid of. Then I'm also going to get rid of a beta gamma. Then I've got gamma times alpha, so there's two of those as well. And uh, beta, uh, sorry, gamma beta, so two of those. Okay, so they're all the extra bits that I need to get rid of. So we've got the alpha plus beta plus gamma, all squared, take away two lots of alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma. So that's the one half squared, take away two lots of zero, which is just one quarter. Okay, right, that's the first bit. Then I'm going to have alpha squared beta squared plus alpha squared gamma squared plus beta squared gamma squared. Okay, now how am I going to get that? So in a similar way, if I were to square that term there, I would get those terms, but I would get extra terms as well. Okay? So I'm going to get, let's write this on the next line. So alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma squared. Then I need to take away the extra terms. So I'm going to get alpha beta times alpha gamma, which is alpha squared uh, beta gamma. I'm going to get alpha beta times beta gamma, which is alpha beta squared gamma. I'm going to get the alpha gamma um, times alpha beta, which is that one there. So I'm going to get rid of two of those. I'm going to get the alpha gamma times beta gamma, which is uh, alpha beta gamma squared. I'm going to have the beta gamma times alpha beta which I've got there, again, so that's two of those, and then beta gamma times alpha gamma, so I've got a second one of those as well. So I've got the alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma squared take away. Now I need to factorise this, so I've got two lots of the alpha beta gamma, uh, which I can bring out of all three terms, and I've got an alpha beta gamma, so alpha plus beta plus gamma. Now alpha, so that bit there, alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma, is zero. So that's zero squared. Take away two lots of alpha beta gamma, which is minus one eighth, times by alpha plus beta plus gamma, which was one half. So we've got two minuses, cancel. We've got two times a half, which cancel, cancel so we've just got left with one eighth. Right. So then finally... We've got alpha squared, beta squared, gamma squared, so the product of the three new roots, 
which is just alpha, beta, gamma squared, which is minus 1 eighth squared, which is 1 over 64. So my cubic equation be z cubed, then take away 1 quarter z squared, then plus 1 eighth z, take away 1 over 64 equals 0. OK? Right, multiply through by 64. 64 z cubed, take away 16 z squared, plus 8 z, take away 1 equals 0. OK? And so this is the quadratic, uh, sorry, the cubic equation with integer coefficients that will have the roots alpha squared, beta squared, and gamma squared.